So a few videos ago, the people over at Hangar 51, the fire starter specialist, sent me a couple of products that I could test out and bring to you, and they were the fire strip roll and the fat wood. Both very effective products that you can carry in your kit for those times when you really need to have something that you know is going to work and you can't find materials off the landscape to get a fire going, good things to have in your kit. Well, these were so effective that the people over at Hangar 51 decided to send me a couple of more products. And they were the well-known fat rope stick and the fire plugs. If you're interested in seeing these new products in action, stay tuned. So it's a good chance everybody has seen the fat rope stick by now. It's become very popular and a lot of the big YouTube uh, product reviewers are using this and uh, for very good reason. It is an extremely effective product. Uh, one of the nice things I like about it is the fact that it is made in Canada. So I will talk about the fat rope in a second for those of you who have not seen it and I'll show you how I use it anyway. But I don't know, this may be the first time you've seen these new product from the fire specialist. They asked, they sent me to me asked me to test them out and play with them, see what I thought. And before coming out today, I was checking and I don't know that they're on the market yet. So this may be the first actual review of them. I have seen them on the market in the UK, but I don't know that they're for sale in Canada or the US yet. I'm sure they will be in the near future. And I'll bring one up close to you so you can see what it is. It is exactly what it looks like. It looks like a round piece of cotton ball infused with wax and that's exactly what it is and it's quite stiff it's about an inch and a half long by a little over not quite half an inch in diameter and uh, you know it's just that easy to start pulling the stuff apart to expose surface area and you can see it is you know a little bit like working with a Vaseline soaked piece of cotton but not quite so there's a couple different ways of using it one is to do it exactly what I did there which is just to peel some off the end light that with a ferrocerium rod or whatever method you want to use and then you've got something that'll burn for a long period of time because you haven't uncovered the whole thing the other way is the way I most commonly use it which is just to kind of work it in the middle here get it a little softer now pull those fibers apart start exposing fibers. Get a bit of that open like that and when you light that with the ferrocerium rod, and usually it'll take a, a spark the very first time, lights up very quickly, the fact that the either end of the plugs are still fairly solid means that it will burn for a longer period of time. So I'm going to demonstrate that, but that's not what I'm going to use to light my fire today. I'm going to demonstrate it and uh, then I'm going to use the fat rope to get my, my fire ready for my lunch. So it is very easy to use. They are in fact waterproof, so if they dunk in your pocket, you no know, worries, take it out, work it like this and it's going to light up. It is non-toxic, so if somehow it gets mixed in with your food, again, no worries. It's not going to harm your food, or the fl or any flame off of this is not going to harm your food, other than maybe cause it to burn. So I can lay it on the ground with little fear, very little fear that it's going to soak up water. I'm just going to be using my Hexa, the six-sided, six-inch fer ferrocerium rod from Uberleben that I've been testing recently. And just very quickly... Hopefully I've got enough of the surface area. Exposed, and you can see how quickly that lights up, and that will burn for a good long time. So again, I'm not going to be using that to light my fire today. I was able to blow it out, but uh, normally I find that once it really gets engaged, it's, uh, it takes a little longer for it to burn. And easy enough to relight if I want to relight it as well. I'm just going to put that down on the top of my ember lid here. Fat rope. This is a piece I've been working on and testing for a while. I just wanted to uncover and show you what it looks like. It it's, is exactly what it looks like, a piece of rope. It is, in fact, cotton rope that is infused with the proprietary blends of paraffin waxes, and it's soaked right into the fibers so that the fibers are so embedded with this that, again, this is waterproof, uh, non-toxic. It's not going to degrade over time. So there's a couple of different ways you can use this. One, you could just unwrap it and keep unwrapping it until you get down to individual strands like this. And then you could go even further, I guess, if you wanted to keep unwrapping it. Uh, you could use that like a taper so that you could light it and stick it into a fire. The other way, the way that I use it more often than not, I'm just going to take a few strands to do this with, is to rub it in my hands. Now, I do have to peel my sleeves of my shirt back to do this. 
is to rub it in my hands and expose the surface area as much as I can. So it starts to loosen up. Pull it apart. I guess it's a little bit like working with jute twine. All kinds of surface area to expose. The more you work it, the more surface area, the easier it is to take a spark. Of course, the more you work it and open it up like this, the faster it's going to burn. So I guess it's how quickly do you want this to burn through. All right, that should be enough to get it going. I'm going to take most of this and drop it down inside my emberlet. Turn the emberlet around. So I've got the emberlet loaded up for a top-down burn right now. Again, the more you work it, the better it is. All right. Making sure I'm in frame. All right. And that'll burn for enough time to catch the wood and start working on a top-down burn. I do have to add a little bit of fuel on top, on top of that to make it work. So, yeah, very effective product. All right, let's uh, get my lunch on and then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, some final thoughts on the fat rope stick and the fire plugs from Hangar 51. Well, in truth, all of the products that Hangar 51 put out are highly effective as and perform as advertised, if not better, in fact. Of all of them, I think I prefer the fat rope stick if I'm looking for something that I need to start a fire quickly and uh, has a lot of intense heat so that it works even with some slightly damp wood. It takes a little bit of time to process it down to a burnable size, but once you do, it takes a spark very readily and will get the product going or get the, the good wood going very quickly. Having said that, though, the convenience of these fire plugs can't be overstated. Small, lightweight, you only need to put a couple in your pack and you've got a very sure fire. Very convenient to use, very inexpensive when you rate it over the bag of 50. So both products looks very good, as are the fire strip roll and the waxwood. Okay, good products. I can recommend them if you're looking for a commercially made fire starter to carry in your kit to make sure you have a means of starting fire when you really need to, then these are some of the best I think you can buy. That's all I have to say today, folks. Until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled. It will make all the difference. Bye for now.